champions and the boxing superstars, where are you? I'm waiting, let's fight. I'm the most avoided boxer. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so the road to Inouye Fulton continues here on True School Sports. I'm not going to be in Japan for the fight, unfortunately, but I'm still going to, you know, uh, do my best to cover this fight and give it as much attention as it deserves because both Inouye and Fulton, as far as I'm concerned, they have set the tone for boxing. They have shown the rest of the sport how it's done when you not, when you don't drag your feet and you don't waste your time and you make the big fights happen. So um, I'll always love them and respect both of them for that. Um, but Stephen Fulton, you know, Philadelphia's very own cool boy, a.k.a. Scooter, a.k.a. the unified super bantamweight champion of the world. He was speaking to the PBC podcast and he basically just got into his approach to the fight, you know, just how he's seeing and how he's approaching the in a way Fulton fight and, and, and what led to this moment. I kind of wanted to read you guys some of his quotes and dissect from there and, and give Cool Boy some, another video because he deserves, him and Inoue deserve as many videos as they can get. But here's what, I, here's what Cool Boy said himself. He stated the following, and I quote, um, he feels, he says, I, I will win because I'm smart. I believe in my mindset. I believe in my abilities. I'm very smart. There's nothing I can't outthink. I didn't take this fight to go out there for money. That's what other guys want to do. That's not my mindset. My mindset is strictly going over there because I know I can win. And I want to challenge myself while doing it. I want to put myself to the test. This is a huge fucking fight. So why not try to live up to that moment? I didn't just do this for money. It just so happens that I was offered some nice money. So that's the icing on the cake. So let's go do it. And quote from Steve Fulton. And then he basically went on to say, like, you know, two years ago after he defeated Angelo Leo, uh, he he was asked about Inoue in an interview right after the fight. And he really didn't know a whole lot about Inoue at the time. Uh, now he obviously does. And, and, and you know, I, I respect Steve Fulton um, because... He's very like aware. Like he he was he he said yeah he said in some other quotes and you guys can read the article in the description. But he said in another quote that basically like he understands that this fight's a lot bigger in Japan. So why not go to Japan? You know um I feel like because of his unique mindset, Stephen Folson has created a unique type of situation in boxing where you get an American fighter to go to somewhere like Japan, not to get the belts but defend the belts. So you gotta respect something like that. But wouldn't it be great? I mean like I want to highlight. One sentence uh, of his of his first quote, which is he said, this is a huge fucking fight. So why not try to live up to the moment? You know, why not try to do that? And wouldn't it be amazing if more fighters like thought like that? Like, why not try to live up to the moment? Why not? Um, you know, uh, Stephen Fulton, look, I, I feel like he's been severely downplayed in the lead up to this fight. I, 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 you know, going in Japan and talking to a lot of the Japanese, you know, fighters and boxers and stuff. You know, obviously they're going to back the countrymen in Iowa in a way. But uh, I, I, st I still think, I, I truthfully, I still, I still think people really aren't quite grasping um, the fire that Stephen O'Fallon is um, and that he's been. Because when he fights in Iowa in a way, this is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. The reality is this will be Stephen Fulton's 22, 22nd professional bout in a career that, you know, it's been about an eight-year career now. He's, he's been professional since 2014. It'll be his 22nd fight in eight years. Nayoa Inoue will be the 10th undefeated fighter he has challenged in the ring in 22 fights. He will be, um, you know, think about it. Do you, you guys can do math. I mean, I, I wasn't great at math in school, but 10 out of 22, I'm not sure what the percentage is on that, but that's damn near half. That's damn near 50% of undefeated fighters he's fighting he's had an unconventional road to get to this point when you look at the progression if you, if, if you were to just look at Stephen Fulton's career arc and, and and his road to get to in a way his road to become champion it's a lot different than a lot of other fighters from PBC you know a lot of fighters from PBC you know especially in the earlier years like look, think about the Thurmans think about the Spences these kind of guys, you know, they were afforded the opportunities to fight guys like Phil Greco or, you know, Carlos Quintana. Uh, you know, guys that were, 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 were bodies and guys that were fighters that were going to give them rounds or supposed to give them rounds. But ultimately, there were fights that they weren't, those guys weren't going to lose. As to where with Stephen Fulton, you look at a lot of the fights in his career. I mean, 
Uh, I remember the Adam Lopez fight. That was a fight that was, um, at, at the time, looked at to be a very, very tough fight for Stephen Fulham. A, a lot of people picked against Stephen Fulham in that fight. Um, that was a hard fight. You look at um, even the fights against the guys like Isaac Avalar. Avalar was a good undefeated fighter. He had to go to, um, you know, he had to really go on the road to fight him. I believe they fought in Texas. Um, same thing, you know, Arnold Kagai, another one. He's just had to fight fighters that you could classify as higher risk, low reward caliber guys, higher risk, low reward type of fighters. And um, he's been able to come out, you know, the other side more than enough times. When he won the world title, he fought Angelo Leo. Now look, Angelo Leo, I know a lot of people uh, probably picked Stephen Fulton to win that fight, but I, that was a hard fight too. I mean, Stephen Fulton said in the, in, himself that that was a hard fight early on because Angelo ended some good shots early on. And it was, it was one of the better fights of that year, of 2022. Right, 2022 or 2020? Was that 2022 or 2021? I think 2021. So, you know, uh, Brandon Figueroa, another one. So what I, I say all these, I say all these things to say that Stephen Fowler had an unconventional road to get to this point. If he's gonna cement himself as one of the pound for pound best fighters in boxing, like really leave no doubts. Why wouldn't he do that in an unconventional fashion? Everything else been unconventional, you know. So uh, I, I like the fact that. He's going to go fight Inoue because Inoue is a mega star in the country of Japan. I, I knew that before I went to Japan. I really understand it on a much greater level now that I've been to Japan and I've seen uh, how he's treated there. And, you know, you go and you look and you go to the Japanese boxing libraries that they have in the gyms. And you just see like every every magazine cover since like 2014. Damn near. He's been on the cover of all of them in Japan. So it's like he's a big star over there. Um I was watching Stephen Fulham yesterday. I, I, went, I went back and I watched a couple rounds of the Isaac Avalar fight. Um, I do feel like he's definitely just, 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 I, I kind of knew this already, but after I went back and I watched a couple rounds yesterday, he's definitely the quickest fighter Nioa in no way has ever fought as far as like in and out movement. Like he's very good about shooting the straight right hand and just getting out the way. Um, and that, and, and just little subtleties like that, I feel like early on in the fight are going to be a little bit different for Inoue. Inoue is going to have to deal with, um, a bit of a different challenge. And people continue to disrespect Stephen Fulton. They continue to underestimate him. And um, listen, Nayela Inoue is a great fighter. I think I feel like he should be the favorite because he's such a he's such he's he's proven so much of, of himself in the sport thus far. But you know, there's weight class for a reason. We don't know what he's gonna look, what what he will look like at 122. We don't know that um, his power is gonna carry up. And Stephen Fulton, I've seen it many times. People out here talking about power. I, I, I did it one time with Angelo Leo. Oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. And then you get in the ring and you feel like you're training for just a boxer. You feel like, oh, well, he's just a boxer. He's just going to be on the outside. He's going to be this, he's going to be that. And then you get in there and you find out that there's a lot more. There's a lot more dimensions. There's a lot more layers to Stephen Fulton than you thought. So that's what it is. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this little video on Stephen Fulton about his, his interview on PBC podcast. Um, I love the mentality. Why not try to live up to the moment, you know? Would be a beautiful, much better sport if more guys thought like Stephen Fulton. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What kind of chances are you giving Stephen Fulton in, in the fight with Nioa in no way? You know, we're getting close, people. It's June 23rd. The fight's July 25th. So we're about, we're, at the time they shoot this video, we're like 32 days out. So uh, let me know what you guys think. We, we got anybody picking Stephen Fulton in the comments. Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys... Take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding, dang it. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.